Hello, everybody, and welcome back at Adobe Live. I'm here with the amazing Carla. Hi, Carla. Nice to see you. How's it hola, going? Hola, hola. I'm Carla. I'm hola. so happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Very, Thank you, Kathleen. Very, very exciting. We were having just a little bit of a chat also in Spanish. So let us know, actually, in the chat, where are you watching from? And if you speak Spanish or how many languages do you speak? We were just having this little conversation with uh, uh, in Spanish and in English. So uh, thank you so much for joining us. Always, as always, if you are watching from YouTube, make sure to tune in on behance.net slash live so I can see your comments, say hi to you, and of course, pass all your questions that we're going to uh, go through today to Carl while she's working and I can see our amazing Paco in the chat tuning in from California <laughs> also fellow Spanish speaker um, Mike Oliano and yes you are in time we're just starting and of course Steve by the way uh, Carla Steve uh, uh, is uh, here joining us on Adobe Live very often and we do Italian classes so let's see Steve if ah, we can sharpen great. some Spanish today <laughs> amazing <laughs> and of course Biola and Geotirmia Umacron fantastic so many wonderful people but first of all I want to share with you the amazing work that Carla uh, does because we are so excited to have her here at Adobe Live Carla I love your work I love how oh, bold so and much. colorful <laughs> your your work is so I'm very very excited to host you here and of course if you want to go ahead and see more about Carla make sure to uh, go and check her website, which is carlaheredia.com. Carla, I didn't even ask you how to pronounce it. Did I say uh, it's Heredia? Heredia. Just don't think in the age. Heredia. Okay, Heredia. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfecto. Perfecto. See, <laughs> sí, Carla Heredia. Um, uh, I was going to say punto com, dot com, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> you can find uh, you can find her as well on Instagram. And I'm going to go ahead and follow you right away. So make sure hey. to go ahead and follow her. <laughs> beautiful work and of course uh, you can join her also on Behance when she has uh, so many wonderful features as well for her beautiful work but Carla I'm super excited about today's work I know you're going to do a Me branding uh, on, a, on a budget for small businesses which I think that is super super great for this time that we're going through so exactly. I just want to pass it to you to tell us more about yourself about today I'm excited mm. Me too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Adobe Live. And of course, you from being here and joining us today. Well, I'm a graphic designer. I focus on branding and I have been working in this area, at, I don't know, maybe six, seven years ago. Uh, I work with startups and, uh, and small business. I really enjoy the passion these people put on their projects and all the energy and freedom you as a designer have in this kind of, of uh, design projects. I uh, also love the blank white page, of course, to start a brand at the beginning, uh, create the history behind all the concept, the, the space where the brand is actually developed. I think is really exciting. Um, I, I, I'm gonna do this today for you. And also, and very important, <laughs> For me, it's to highlight the functionality of the elements that we use for the branding applications. Because I think that sometimes we as a designer, we, we got really excited and we choose maybe some uh, things to do because they're really pretty or something like that. So <laughs> maybe uh, we, it's time to think again, it's really usable, what it's for. Uh, maybe it's just uh, contaminating. <laughs> so try to to uh, stand out all the brand applications and you do it at the, uh, in a really easy way and suitable way because we are talking now by, about small business. So you have to put in their shoes and do affordable uh, brand and affor an affordable idea and really easy way to do it and and of course, stand out. Of course, Carla. And I think that that's like so truth in terms of what the real life of a designer is because everyone wants to do pretty things and just you yes, know, draw course. all day. I... But <laughs> being able to create good design while you stay within the client's limitation and of course the budget is is uh, the real, that's the real workflow. And by the way, yeah. I think there is, we have one of your friends here, Maria Cristina Barrera says, hola, Carla, suerte. <laughs> hola, hola, Maria <laughs> And then you. we have uh, people from all over the world. We have uh, Shaktil from Japan. Of course, ciao, Steve. Nice mm -hmm. to see you. And people are absolutely loving your Behance project. So let us know Thank if you, you. want to maybe, you know, show us any 
project that is particularly yes. for you if you want to start whatever yes, you prefer I, I actually was thinking to show you some of these projects that i try to boost as much as possible this functional functionality uh, idea for example this one is the last one that i put on behance it's a cafe 392 in English 392. You can see it, it's a number. <laughs> well, uh, this, this is a coffee in Veracruz, Mexico. And actually, it's really simplistic. It has just two colors, as you can see black and white, a little bit of cream. And uh, I focused all the, the branding idea in these characters that are like stupid foxes that are drinking coffee and going around over there. So I try to use it, these uh, elements in one ink, of course, for making an easy reproduction. You actually can just print this in your house printer or maybe this uh, tape too, stickers. I really uh, like in, the, in this project this tape because you can use it as you can see here in the cup or in the packaging or maybe in the coffee, so it uh, has a lot of uh, different usabilities. And well, you can, as I told you before, you can just change the menu because of course all the restaurants change the menu all the time. I'm printed in your house with a nice paper and that's all, it's a really good solution for, for small business that are starting. And well, this one, you, you can do see. design the, the fox as well. Sorry, I'm just really yeah, curious. Yeah, a... <laughs> I so do an illustration also. I actually really handcraft. I love to incorporate painting and drawing or maybe some sculpture sometimes in my oh, wow. projects. Yes, I, I, I really like painting. So I try to mix it and incorporate it. So you can see, actually, I'm, I'm planning to do something handmade for this project. So you will Ooh. see it there. <laughs> Super exciting. And tell us like a little bit about your background. So did you did you study um, like fine art or just a passion? No, a I study graphic design, actually. And uh, I started, actually, when I was in college, and I was not really good about branding, honestly, <laughs> this uh, passion uh, appears lately maybe <laughs> <laughs> I don't know maybe like five not six years seven years I start to work in in a branding studios and I really 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 love it so I focus all my graphic attention on this I, and and then I'm a branding designer well I I'm, I don't want to say that I just do branding because I consider it myself as a brand as a designer not a branding designer but I focus on branding design as you can see here Look here, for example, these are the stickers that I use in the bottles. So you you can overbrand everything with these these stickers. You know, even do a street art. They're really shiny, and you can highlight your brand without uh, commercial publicity. You know, you look at this. You you don't, you don't need to print it or customize it. So just put the stickers over there and that's all. Do you have your brand in all your delivery packagings, right? And I'm, I'm, I'm super curious, sorry if I'm like being so noisy, but what about all this amazing photography? Like, do you direct the photography as well? I did it too, <laughs> with my husband that is actually a photographer. So, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did a photo, he takes some photos too, and then Photoshop, of course, make all the magic. <laughs> and then it looks like it's actually a real uh, restaurant, but it is not, it's my living room. <laughs> 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 but yeah, Photoshop makes all the, all the magic here. For example, the original photo has a lot of uh, things behind just to, to put the, the elements in the right position that I wanted. Oh, okay, so that, they were hanging. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a yeah, double, double work. But at the beginning with the photos, and after that, a lot of Photoshop, and that's it. <laughs> that's so amazing. I absolutely love it. And I want to show you two more because these these projects are uh, that I highlighting are just because they are really, really focused on this uh, functionality application of the brand. The other ones, I, I also love them, but you can see it later. This one is uh, 
a brand that it was really simplistic and serial waste idea, elemental stuff. So I, I tried to do the same from the packaging and also for the branding. And another thing that I really love to do that I didn't tell you before is that I love to incorporate a history, little histories or maybe some cultural uh, sneak peek over there or maybe a legend, you know, some something cultural in mostly all of my designs, for example, here is uh, the, the old merchanters and the, in the, I have to say, Seda, mm -hmm. La Ruta de la Seda. I remember, I don't remember that name. Well, the, the, the way? Uh -huh. Well, the all the merchanters are, are working over there, they're sharing, they're trekking with the seeds. So I tried to make this as the, the elemental icon of the brand and then use it everywhere, as you can see here in the packaging. And also here, this ribbon, you can also use it, for example, here, when you finish your food, you can just put the lid over here and have a control for what are you eating or what did you buy. So I try to explode the, at most I can all the packaging ideas and incorporate it in a, in a common use that you can do, you can use in your kitchen or whatever. So um, Carla, as I mentioned before, when we were chatting, we have an amazing community here at Adobe Live and in the chat, uh, we have Magda de Alba saying the silk route. So uh, like, exactly. Uh, yeah. The, the way. Silk, yeah. <laughs> Yesterday I was thinking about that, and I said, I have to remember it. I have to remember that. Look at me. I forgot it. But thank you so much, Magda. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Magda. As I mentioned, like I don't know most things. I was like uh, the way of <laughs> the way, of, <laughs> the way yeah. of saying what. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. And this one is a mezcal, of course, because I'm Mexican and Mexicans, we talk always about mezcal. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but it's true. This one is really interesting because I try to um, feature this kind of mostly like bad printed illustration, you know, like want ink, the uh, natural colors. This is like the, traditional form that the mezcal houses do it in Mexico, they usually, usually use really uh, affordable papers and just one ink to do it and just brand the, the, the bottles and sell it. So I try to, to do that uh, essential um, inspiration of the, of the traditional mezcales in Mexico and I use it here. Ah, oh, okay, this mezcal is uh, blended with mango, jicama, uh, uh, tamarindo, maracuya. Maybe you have never heard about this, but if you come to Mexico, <laughs> you should try <laughs> these flavors because they're really good. But, Do they ship? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. <laughs> you, can, you have to, you, you, you can. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, um, it's a really interesting solution from packaging, I think. So, and it's look really, really nice. I, I love this project too. I think it really uh, makes your style so unique. I, I love the illustration <laughs> and, and the fact that you very simplify colors so the design can really come out. You know, I think that's when there's the real beauty of, of a design. I thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if you have some questions, please let me know. Or... We're having a lot of flowers for you. So I said in the chat, if uh, people love your work, just to put a flower <laughs> and everyone is putting a flower because I'm a fan and looks like Maybe everybody's it's my a mom. fan. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Thank you so much for everyone. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yes. And uh, are we going to start in Illustrator or? Right. The yep. Tell, yeah, us, tell I, us a little I, bit more about the project today. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Start. Yes. Uh, well, the project is going to be about a um, bakery, a ghost bakery. Uh, I think that this is a time because of the pandemic that a lot of people start to open new business and a lot, a lot of them then actually do not have a establishment or a, or a store to, to actually have their business. So they start to do like these ghost uh, enterprises that I feel like is like a new model of business. I really love it. So this project is a, 
a ghost kitchen, actually a ghost bakery. Uh, so we are going to do the branding design and also try to uh, use make some useful ideas for the packaging delivery. And if we have enough time, we can do some social media because I also think that social media for now, it's really, really important for everyone and mostly for this kind of business because as I said before, they don't have this face to show to the people that, hey, hey, hey here, here we are. No, they, they just uh, use their delivery and packaging and social media to, to have a face for the product. So I think these, these three elements are really important for, for a small business and in this case for a ghost uh, bakery. So let me put my illustrator. And, then and by the way, Carla, um, we have uh, uh, the wonderful Wurval here in chat helping, helping us out. And Val is always very, very active helping us in the chat. And what we do usually um, every, any time that I've been streaming with her lately, if you have any options, or maybe you are not sure about a design or you have two different color options, we can ask the chat and we yes, can even do a sure. poll. So we can mm -hmm. even like do a little bit of a vote on the design mm -hmm. to choose for the final, yeah. maybe today or tomorrow. You know, uh, I just thought that it was worth mentioning because uh, everyone is excited to see and to help um, out the, the final me product. Too, of course, yeah, it's always uh, important to have another eyes and, and, and comments about your work. So I just did a, a really small mood board because I want to focus more on the development of the branding, but I want to show you a little bit about this part. Uh, here are just some examples about how easily you can reproduce a brand, as you can see with, see with the stickers on stamps or your fabric, or here there are just stickers or maybe another stamp. You can use like stamps to just brand all your items. And it's a really, really nice and um, economical solution. For example, here, the menu or these levels, uh, you're just printing with, with uh, one ink, as you can see here, it's just black. So we, you, you can just change the, the paper, the color paper, and you have color in your brand, you know, and in a very cheap way to do it. And well, here's Bacon Act is the name of the brand that we're going to do tonight. tonight. I read night, sorry, today. <laughs> so <laughs> here is the, here are some photos that the client gave it to me to have like an inspiration about it. Uh, it's, he started this project at the night after work and just to use it for a relaxing time in this pandemic situation to have a silence and time to think a little, you know. So uh, as I see these uh, photos, I all automatically think about really romantic or nostalgic or maybe jazz uh, spirit, you know, like it's really cozy. I love the colors, they have shadows. And the, this low saturation, it looks almost like something mysterious is gonna happen. So I try, I, I, in this, for this mode world, I try to highlight this part. And this is the inspiration that I uh, want to follow for, for, for the branding. And I can, as you can see here is like the shadow, the type using like shadow, or also here uh, and the typography, it's really, really interesting. All, all this, it's a little bit darky and, and mysterious. I, I love this sensation also use it the positive and ne negative elements, as you can see here or here. So this is like the first overlook of inspiration. And then for my mood works, I sometimes, I change it a lot. It depends on the client. I usually do a mood work with two or three different concepts. Um, then the client choose the concept they like the most. And with that uh, guide, I start working on the design, but sometimes the client is really, really sure about what they want like this case, uh, he wanted this dark idea, these shadows, night, height, color, et cetera. Uh, he also just, just want to have the black as a predominant color. So he's really clear about what he wants. So for this mode world, I, I, do, I did this. I just choose the, like a type selection and then an, an image selection just to be like a little bit more into the design of the, the, the decision of the client. 
So I highlight these ones. I really love this kind of typography that is like condensed and really strong. And also this one is almost like handmade, but I don't know, like it looks a little a, a bit masculine, but also if you if we can if we integrate some colors like the in this in this case this brand use uh, a little pink pink baby pink says yeah mm -hmm. so you make like a balance we we can see this later but this is like all the typography selection what do you think did you like it and um, these are the graphics uh, uh, also I I was thinking about this handmade idea of the whole project because uh, the brand is actually made it in home uh, by one person with their own ideas so i try to be a little bit more uh, intimate with this so i choose uh, this kind of, of illustrations that are almost doing by your hand in your sketchbook uh, i think that is like maybe a diary or your personal sketchbook that mostly all of the designers we have then when where you draw and have all your your notes and terrible uh, illustrations <laughs> or, or, or actually really good illustrations it depends how you des the design but this is like the overview that I I thinking it's it could work for the brand and also because I want to incorporate this handmade process because of the same idea that is a uh, space uh, is a brand that it's gonna be creating and it's and it's gonna do a product that gonna be also handmade and with a lot of feeling with a lot of with a lot of sensations so i try to 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 incorporate this part in the image selection uh, and carla so, sorry to interrupt you but i have two questions and before i jump into sure. the questions i wanted to know that you also place there one of a uh, Bruno Munari cover with all the faces. I don't know. If uh, you... yeah. Is that yeah. A... Uh. <laughs> I, I love that. I ate a rat and it tastes good. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's so yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love this like idea of, of characters or elements happening over there. They, they feel like they're like uh, the companion of the brand. I, I, they, I call them the little friends of the brand. So they, oh, that's, <laughs> that's really, that's, that's a really good uh, way of, of sharing. Well, as, as, the, as I show you in the cafe that has the, the, the fox. foxes, yeah, I, 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 I said the same. They are like the little friends of the brand. Oh. <laughs> so, it's almost like you create a mascot for the brand. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, totally. Super and because cool. this is just a par par pattern or for the papers or or social media just for making different uh, publications with some graphics etc are really useful for for the entire brand development yeah they, they build a relationship it's almost like a, as you say like the word friends i think the little friends of the brand i think is i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna quote you i'm definitely gonna co quote you in the future That's great. Um, we have two questions one from magda and um she asked she asks, why do you decide to go solo and not as a studio? Well, I work all the, my first years in the studio and I really enjoy it. I work in uh, Walker Brandenburg. You should uh, uh, Google it in Behance or Behance it. It's right, Behance it. <laughs> <laughs> and also in Futura, a lot of time in, in both in Mexico City and in another agency in Berlin called Anthony. So in all this time, I, I always work by myself too, by a free, as a freelancer. And I really enjoyed the time when I, when I was in, in, in the studies because working with people all, all the time is really cool. You have a lot of to do, to chat, a lot of uh, information, or if you have some questions, etc. And I really enjoy it. But I don't know, I honestly just decided one day that I want to do it by myself. And I have been thinking a lot if I should open a studio by my name, but I think that is not the time right now, maybe later. Right now I'm solo in, in this and I really enjoy it. I think that but for this moment is exactly the place where I want to be. So maybe in the future, I never say no. Maybe I should come back to studio someday or I don't know 
maybe I get tired. Well, you're in a very lucky place. Like being in the place where you like to be is like, oh, wow. (laughs) That sounds amazing. At this moment, at this moment. Yeah, Yeah, well, we're here and now. We're here and now. (laughs) So that's that's perfect. And we have another question. Mm -hmm. Let me just go back to it because I was loving your mood board. So I didn't want to interrupt you before. But David Dujic. So David Dujic is asking, uh, does the simplicity of a branding is better than the complexity or depends on the occasions? Mm. Totally depends on the occasions, I think. <laughs> or I don't know, because all, simplicity for me is always better, but sometimes I contradict myself a lot, as you can see in the burgers project that I show you, that is everything less simplicity, a lot of colors, bold, a lot of images, I don't know. So I, I think it depends. It depends of the mood of the brand, of course. It depends of the style, the the... Uh, how do you say the area where it uh, it's gonna develop for example if you do like a medical brand Mm -hmm. of course it has to be as clean as you can do it really elegant but if you are doing like a bakery or maybe a mezcal or something like that you can have fun and do it use a lot of elements to to post it that it's gonna be interesting to see I totally agree. Uh, Carl, I don't know if we mentioned, but like my studio is called Print My Soul. And that's exactly like, you know, como en prima el alma. Uh-huh. So the, the idea is that uh, the business soul is what drives a project. So I think it's totally up of what the product service person yeah, totally. you're going to represent. But excited to get started on this. It looks beautiful. I love your mood board. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> so if you want, we can start. Yeah, I think no. we're all ready. Yeah. We look forward right. to it. <laughs> so I did a uh, uh, pre-work because I knew that we will not have enough time for the second part that is this application idea of the brand. So I tried to 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 make some uh, selections before the the life starts. But also I want to keep these ideas over here to you to help me to change some or intercalate some text, you know. So here, as I told you before, I was uh, thinking about a really condensed and serif and strong uh, typography. Also to combine it with uh, the the organic illustrations that that we're gonna use, I think you have to make like a balance if you are going to use like really organic illustrations and really handmade illustrations you have to put in the other side the balance with a strong typography or a really geometric part just to look at like not too much organic not too much uh, strong and and geometric right so i was looking in Adobe fonts, of course. <laughs> These uh, uh, typographies, the reason I, I try to use Adobe font for this time and mostly all the times is the same as we were talking before. The, this kind of, of business, of course, they have the budget really limited. So we as a designer, we have this commitment to put, you know, we're the, in, put, put us in, in their shoes and try to be uh, as realistic as possible, right? So using Adobe fonts, uh, you can reproduce it. So it's really easy for the client to to have their license. So I decided to use Adobe fonts for this this uh, case. And I choose these ones that are, are the condensed sans serif. Uh, you, you can see the weights are a little bit uh, different. This one is really thin. Now that I can see it, I think I prefer something like this one. I don't know. Um, let me check which typography is this one. Actually, yeah, for sure. And it, and it, uh, this type is really good because it has a lot of fam- uh, family, extended family, so you can use it really uh, easy way when you're going to do the labels or for the business cards or for Instagram actually 
So we have Budava asking, what are the fonts called? I really like the kind of like handwritten ones. Those are like my favorite. Ah, uh, yeah, it, that's the second step. I, I want to uh -oh. know like- Okay, the, okay. Kelly, <laughs> <laughs> <Kelly>, please. <laughs> <laughs> now this is the, this, I want to do what a main logo. And actually I, I, I do a lot of this in my, in my, in my brand design is I use a, a main logo and then I use like some B logo or C logo just to use it for maybe like an informal option or like a sign. For example, if you send, you're sending like a thank you letter or something, you can use the, the secondary logo just to make it more moldable and adaptable to the situation because maybe you have, if you want to do like a joke or you're, <laughs> you're going to be more serious in your, in your, in your uh, idea, you have the option, right? So, I want to concentrate the main logo in this and then use a second logo, like it's almost like a hand. For friends logo. only. For friends only, exactly. For you, <laughs> for you, of course, Clint. And for you, that you, you are, you, the guys who you are, are, are watching us, of course, to you too. So, Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do you think? Uh, my favorites, I want to tell you which one are my favorites. I want to put the, these options just to, to you to see it. The, different objects that we have that are condensed and sans serif. As I was thinking, remember the mood board, all the typographies were really similar. So for me, I like this one and maybe this one, I don't know if it's too bold. What do you think? I always make a square in my favorites because, you know, after a lot of sketching, you have like tons of options. So I put like my favorites, something like this too. To highlights and and don't forget that were my favorites. <laughs> and can you tell us the names, please? Because like oh, yeah, I yeah, think so that sorry. we were super this one curious. Is Acumen variable? Mm -hmm. This one, I I don't. It's also from I, I put I, I took a note of it. Let me give me a second because this one it's actually in I think Japanese or I don't know Chinese character. So the oh. name, the principal name it was. Uh, Chinese characters that unfortunately I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so like pass. <laughs> uh, pass, pass, which is in Chinese. Uh, I'm doing a huge effort talking in English. Don't ask me for Chinese. <laughs> oh, I think Budaval is already is already pushing the poll. So should we should we vote? Should we vote for this uh yeah for oh. this vote? This one I think is I, I don't I don't want so I, we're just gonna call it option two. So we're just yeah. gonna call it option one and option two. Option two, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the option one is the one that is more like taller and skinnier, and option the two other one is uh, a little bit fat. Is it yeah, is is a little bit one um with a little higher weight, so like almost yeah, like I a heavy it. weight. Mm -hmm. the, what is the name of the weight there? Maybe maybe we it's can the go one by that, that is in Chinese that I don't remember the name and I put it because it was, it's an Adobe font. Okay, but maybe if you click on it, we can see from the character panel. We can see oh, it's look. called Glot Condensed. Glot Condensed is a, uh, it's a soft name, I think. Yeah, because it's like, look at this. It's like in someone up here can read these characters. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I, th I, I, I think it's Glot Condensed, yeah. Maybe, That's yeah. the weight, so maybe we can, yeah. we can use All that. of these you can find it uh, on, on Adobe Fonts and you just uh, put like this condensed option that you have in the finder selection. And uh, it appeared a lot of, of options. I select these one that were my favorite because they're the longest one. Uh, that's another thing that I, I want to highlight. I think in this kind of typography, because I don't know, but for me, is like a shadow, you know, like when, when you have this reflect of the shadow, the reflection is like longer. So, so I don't know, I, this is like the perception that I have when I see this really condensed typographies, I feel like, like shadow. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they almost build like a shape themselves. Yeah. And by mm -hmm. the way, I just wanted to say real quick, I can see people writing already one or two in the chat. Uh, yes, if you're perfect. watching from YouTube, make sure I'll to listen. add. Sorry. No, no, no. I was just putting the numbers over here. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you yeah. so much. That makes it so, so much, so much important. easier. Yeah. So if you are watching from YouTube, make sure to tune in on behance.net slash live mm -hmm. so you can participate and vote. And Budoval has placed a link in the chat. So all you have to do is to head to the chat, 
click on the link and then you'll be able to vote. And I'm going to check that in about like a few minutes to see uh, what you guys vote. So make sure to use the, the link for the poll and uh, we're going to go ahead and see uh, which one is the winner. In very Great. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you, participant. Let me know which one. Do you I'm going to vote as well. My secret. Yeah, great. Lily. Yeah, but <laughs> honestly, I love both. So you're going to choose. <laughs> both, both are amazing for me. And um, for this one, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but maybe I love this one. I think this is really thin. I love the weight of this one. Are those also Adobe fonts? Yeah, too. There, too. This <gasps> one is Chinchilla in Spanish, I think. So. Oh, taking notes. I'm taking <laughs> notes here. Chinchilla. Cool. And I love this one because it reminds me like a Sharpie, totally this. The bake, this one is Chantal. It's like if you write something really quickly with, with a Sharpie, something. I'm not pretty sure about this, too, because this is really thin. And the other one, I think, is... Already mm. activated it. <laughs> from <Yeah. my> fans. <laughs> Great. Yeah, it looks really nice. You're going to see it. Uh, over the, 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 when we use low caps, it's also really funny. The characters are, like, moving all the time. So, I don't know. For my favorites are... Well, let's put, again, numbers for easy recognition. Uh, yeah, maybe let's change the number just so if we okay. do another poll. So we have a... Okay, so we're we're moving to the second poll of the night. I mean, of the day. Sorry, here is 8.30, so <laughs> I'm confused. Um, and there is a lot of light here. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we are traveling also in time yeah. and space, pretty much. So, so far, let me give you this uh, intermediate result of our vote. The mm -hmm. poll between option one and option two sees the option one voting ahead with 64% right. of the votes. So Amazing. This is the winner. Yes, this is the winner. And now we have a second poll. So I'm sorry, Val. <laughs> I said before to Val, like, you create a poll monster. I get so excited <laughs> to see what people uh, like. I think it's beautiful to get all these... Um, live feedback so thank you everybody for voting we're super yeah, excited thank you so much that's the thing that I, I i miss a little bit of of working in a studio you have all your team telling them i like this one I, I, this one is before and where you are my soul you have to choose it but fortunately i have you to today guys so uh, to help me to choose the perfect typography for this brand so i don't know if in the middle of the time we can make these proofs i also always do like some exercises like here for you know, thinking in a title or a important word that you want to to highlight and for the text uh, as we are not you want to use like a readable text you know like three pages of text that you have to read and understand uh, i think that we can use a interesting typography for the complementary text i I really love mono types, so I put all the mono. <laughs> there is a, you have to choose in all my mono selection. <laughs> but <laughs> it, I think it works because it's it's all, all also making like a contrast with the other typography, and also is making like this uh, uh, long visual idea of the typography that is like extended to. So babka is the name of a. Uh, uh, bread. I, I use it because it's like the star bread for baking nights. And uh, I think it gives you that idea, like of uh, like ingredients and like having some very clean and mm -hmm. neat instructions, almost. So yeah, it's nice exactly. to have that. That 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 optional idea. This one is different from this one. Actually, this is the acumen. Yeah, look, this is what I saying before. This uh, logo is an acumen variable concept, extra condensed black. And this one is the same, but it's condensed bold. And I do a little spacing, well, not a little, 75, but I, I space the typography for look, make it look a, a little bit spaced, of course, like not, not, as, not a, as short as the logo, but it's also the same family that is really good for the for easy, the easy usage of the, of, the, of the client. So for the text, 
I'm not pretty sure because I love them all. I really like this one. I don't know what do you think if you want to see it closely. What do you think the composition with this typography for the text? This one is monotalic. Also, Adobe fonts. In the meantime, Carla, I want to go ahead and see what this, the result of the second ah, poll were. So we had a so between one and two, we had one, which was the winner. And for the poll number two, where we have a little bit of the on the font that is only for, for friends only. Uh, <laughs> this one. <laughs> let's see what the result is. <laughs> No. Oh, th mm, should I leave no. it another minute? Things are changing. So <laughs> we had a, I'm just going to give it like a little, like maybe 30 seconds before okay. I reveal the final right. result because I see things are moving. In the <laughs> fall, so. I'm just going to give you a little bit more of time. Make sure yes, that if you want to vote between sure. three and four, you can go ahead and click on the second poll by Budaval and we can check that in like, I'm going to refresh in just like maybe a minute. So. Yeah, both are amazing. I really like them. I, the, the, both has the same uh, mode that I want to present. It's like relaxed mood, like handwriting. So it's your choice. <laughs> okay, I'm going to refresh right now. Hopefully you have your vote there. And let's see. So option four. So it started very strong on option th three. Yeah. And I have to be honest, I also voted option three, but it's now set on option four, passing right. over 56%. Hon <laughs> Honestly, it was my favorite. So Great. okay, good. <laughs> good. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> now Thank the poll you. is closed. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, Thank you, Val. I take it so seriously. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing because I, I, I was thinking about that. I, I love this type of review, but maybe everybody said like, no, I prefer this one. So it's good to know that we love the same one. So your your uh, your idea was really good. Oh, uh, we have a, that's I'm inspired by Val. She she started a few stream ago, and I was like, you know, she made my day. So now I'm like, Val, can we please have a poll? <laughs> Amazing. Fantastic. Look Fantastic. forward to. So I always do this little exercise because thinking of the Instagram or website. So look at look at this. You can see like the contrast between all the type. This one actually is the same that you choose. That is chinchilla. I love the name. It looks it's like a insect or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so. Look at this, you can use also the logo as this one for your, for the branding uh, assets that you will want to do later. So I don't know, after use your selection, I'm not pretty sure, but I think this one is my favorite. Um, we can use as a second, as a typography. Okay, this is mono italic too, as you can see. And maybe this one for other options. What do you think? Do you like this composition? I think it's really cool. I think it like I, I love when you have um almost like a gradient in fonts with the different weights because it really established the mm -hmm. visual hierarchy also in color. Totally. Like it's almost if you see more black and then gray mm -hmm. and then less and, and less. And so um I'm yeah. loving it. And by the way, Carla, I was having a look at the chinchilla fonts and I love the the not all what is the op opposite of caps like the normal uh -huh, the small the small letters so yeah I the small letters so fun yeah like chin chi yeah let's show you <laughs> and by the yeah. way like if you don't know if you don't have the font you can search it inside uh the character panel all just head on fonts adobe.com and just use the name that you can see here on carla's artboard uh, in order to activate it and it will be activated directly inside your Illustrator and inside all your Creative Cloud apps, so you can use that as well. Yes, Adobe fonts are really, really helpful. So fun. So, well, if you are agree with me, this is our final typography selection, right? Mm -hmm. So now I want to explore a little bit about colors. Uh, this idea about the black and white, the negative and positive. Mm, I think my personal idea is it should be like just black and white, but I want to make a little punch over there and use 
a, a small color palette as a secondary element, but not as the principal one. Uh, so I choose these two colors because for me, I really like bakery colors, you know, this one reminds me like butter for the do dollar the do color and of course the egg that it's like the elementary stuff that you need for for a bakery and i don't know if, i don't know if this is too shiny i'm not sure that's the reason that i i want to have like a color scheme over here and don't focus just in one color and for um actually this um it's a it's an, uh, just an advice or an idea that for you and for, uh, and if you are working in a, in a small uh, business branding, you have to think that uh, most of the times they are not going to print in a printer uh, these, uh, the, all the applications. So you have to think that you, how you can combine these elements maybe with some uh, paper uh, with color look at this i found this just in my in my papers and the colors are quite similar to this one and if you think in all of these things you're gonna make your client, your, their life easy because they can print a lot of things in here and they have a color in their brand and they don't have to, to pay more for a printer selection color or for another assets. So here, here is one, here's a, 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 good, a good idea that you can implement in, in your branding process design. So for here, I love that you're keeping it real, like, you know, that's, that's real life for a small <laughs> business a owner. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You have to think in, in how to help, of course. It's always uh, solving solutions. And of course, if we have to think about the limitants or, or and about the, the space, also the, the culture where you are, the, where the brand is going to be developed. You know, you have to think a lot of things. <laughs> in this, and let's in think this. about other things, Carla, because we have a question from Laura. Yeah, so sure. um, she's asking, did Carla always knew she wanted to be a branding design, to do branding design, or did you have to try out various design field until you choose branding design? Uh, the second one, yeah, <laughs> for sure. As I told you before in college, I actually not, I was not really good on branding design. I thought that my... Um, uh, area will be illustration, honestly, but I don't know, in some moment I start to appreciate uh, a lot of branding design in Behance, in Pinterest, in all the internet uh, sources that we have, and then start to get it really involved with that. And when I start uh, working in, 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 his, in uh, design studios, I start looking for uh, branding studios. So, but at, at, at the beginning, I work in, a, in a advertising, also in fashion, in different areas. As, as the end, I, I found uh, branding and I got totally in love and I just do branding by now. <laughs> but yes, it was not at the beginning. I found it after college, like three, four years after that. So... And then you we found always... the little friend of the brand and yeah, we, built exactly. we built a family. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love it. I... <laughs> Thank you. So and this is, oh, so sorry, sorry, please. So, sorry to interrupt you. I mentioned I was no. going to interrupt you a lot because I know that people no, no, are going to no, no, love no. your work and we have questions. <laughs> So another question is from Sylvia Grad asking, Carla, do you charge less money from a client when you make a logo out of existing font? No, no, I, I think it's the same because, uh, well, of course, it's my idea. I don't know how everybody works and everybody is free to work as you want. This is my idea. I just think that sometimes the, the typography uh, oh, I almost all the time customize it. Honestly, I, I want to customize all the all the typographies that I use for for branding. But in this case, that I was really sure, and the client was really sure about how, how it's gonna look, and the reference of the mood board were really clear. I honestly think that there's not necessary to incorporate something or to move something about this type. And also for the 
easy reproduction of it. Uh, and for the client in this case, it's going to be easier for him to, to have it just in, in Adobe and use it than try to check the an, a compatible le, le typography on, or have to buy it. You know, like it's, it's just an easy way to find solutions for this brand in a specific. And but I think I, that you just say the, the key word right there. Like, you know, I, I love the way that you were confident in replying to the questions. Uh, and I'm sure that comes with your experience and with your work. But you just said finding the solution. I really think that what clients pay for is for us to make choices yeah, exactly. and mm -hmm. finding solutions. So I think you said it brilliantly. Thank you, Kathy. In English. In English. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the, I think it's that. It's, you can also, for example, I love the Japan uh, flag. It's just a red circle, but it's so smart to do it, you know? And, and, and you can say like, so you're going to pay him just for doing a red circle, of course, and a lot of money. She did it amazing. Yeah, you know, it's not <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, of course, I should do it. No, it's, uh, I think it's, it's not it's not the sources. Of course, sometimes it's they are, because if you have to buy some uh, typography or buy some uh, textures or backgrounds, of course, the price is going to increase, so obviously. But I don't think it's like the main idea to make a, a, a price for a brand. Actually, I feel like it's the standard one for everyone because it, the process is the same. You have to think the same, you have to solve the same, and you have to do the same, just the, doing by the, in the, the about, just do it with the, with the different brands, but the process is always the same, so I don't think so. And I know we touched a, a, a very um, sensitive topic because, you know, everybody's got different way of pricing and Uriel is saying we're paying for the years of experience. I mean, I, I think also that there are some very young designers which are extremely talented yeah. and don't mm -hmm. have much experience, but they just are wired to solve problems in a creative way, in a different mm -hmm. way that know how to mix things and I just think that is really, you know, who you are as a person that comes through to the design and the way that you solve problems. So, um, and we have more, more quotes from Picasso. One said, yeah, anybody could do it, but I did do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> no, yeah, the, I, I, I think the same. Uh, another day, a uh, guy asked me how much difference about charging by a freelance of experience. Honestly, I don't know. I think, as you say, Kali, there are a lot of young designers that you say like, oh man, you're amazing. You should do it by yourself and charge more or whatever. But I don't know. I don't know how's the rule, but as yeah, I said, no, we, everybody we love your works. experience. Yeah, experience is important. Yeah, maybe when you're young, you don't see it. After that, you start seeing like, of course, I, oh, have yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can what testify I to that. <laughs> you get to a point in which, which I think is also very fair, because like, you know, if you're starting, you're not sure, that means that you also mm -hmm. are not sure about what you're doing. But then you get to a point where like, you know that otherwise mm -hmm. it's not worth your time and your attention. Yeah, and exactly. you need to charge mm -hmm. to... And I think when I when I really raise my my prices with work, Carla, I don't know. And I mean, I would love to, to hear your experience as well. But to me, it just happened to a point where I raised my price and I knew that I wanted to have less clients and give my full attention to them rather yeah, than totally. chasing the money or chasing other clients. I was like, I'd rather spend a month, three months, four months, six months on a project and charge for it rather than find a lot of different projects and running around. And that's why I think I also that changed a lot in, in, in my in my work and in my price yeah, list, I think. Yeah, totally. I, and I, and I, I also think that sometimes when you have like a lot of, of work and it's another thing that it's really important, you start to burn out. And maybe if you have a lot of, of projects and you want to work on them, but your mind is totally burned, that's not going to happen. So you have always have to balance like the charge of, of, of word, uh, work and pro, uh, projects. I'm working on it. I'm not doing it because as, as we talked before, it's about the experience. I'm working on this experience of, of have a lot of work and don't want to do and sometimes have not too much. So I think the idea is to 
like everything, find the balance in both in, in, in both elements about your work and, and how your time and how much did you charge? Both are really important too. So, uh, well, I, I, I will continue with these uh, colors because I just seen that it's one has passed one hour. I can't believe it, it's really fast. <laughs> this is a little trick that I do. I don't know if you know it. If you know it, amazing. If not, it's gonna, it's gonna be a nice trick. You can put your, for example, duplicate these both colors that are the principal that you're gonna use and use it here in your, I'm oh, so sorry, in your gradient uh, uh, action. So look at this so, and choose, sorry, pick the color here, eliminate the white and black and put over here in the extremes. And then you have like the um, gradient of these both colors, right? So now if you want to, as we have two different colors in the middle of the top ones, you can put to you just click here in the colors. I'm so sorry, this black has not to exist. <laughs> <laughs> we need to delete the black. Yeah, now it's deleted. We have, I uh, know, sorry, I'm doing everything wrong. Take but, your time, yeah, don't worry. It's here. I think it it's was super, here. super cool that you show us the trick of uh, selecting the color. So what you did yeah. first, select the circle, then select the color and drag mm -hmm. it inside the panel in order to apply the uh -huh. color that was inside. And you did it from the, from the little fill control from the from the toolbar. Yeah, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you, you have over here the selection of the both colors of the extremes, and then you put any times you want. You can do a thousand of times. You can eliminate it here. I just want to put two circles because we have two circles in the middle, and then you got the code of the number and. Look again, and here you have the second code for the second number, and then we will have a separated gradient of the colors. Now, let me check if it's right. This one is here, should be here, and this one should be here. That's right. So we have like four cream yellow colors to use. Do you think that you like it? Do you think that maybe we should use another color or it's enough with this? That's one? something that I, you know, I, I use a lot of bold colors, but what I appreciated about your work is that you were using, you know, I, I love the monochrome stuff that you were doing. Mm -hmm. So Thank you. I just think, you know, we are here to look at your process. So <laughs> be yourself, do what you do. And that's that's super that's super cool i'm just excited to see to see the result and i love also the the fact that is a uh, the name and I, I didn't mention that before but baking, baking nights. nights it really makes you think about someone that is there like preparing those croissant for you and the bread in the morning yeah. so <laughs> you almost like feel like oh i'm waking up with a fresh bread yeah, exactly yeah, yeah yeah actually it's like and also i feel like it, the name has all the concept inside this shadow uh, idea, this uh, bright tones combined with uh, dark uh, elements. I also use here, no, it's not a black black, as you can see, it's a little black off and also like a white off. For just for doing this idea of a little bit like printed uh, and by hand or these old papers that I show you in the in the mood world before. So I try, I, that's the reason that I, I prefer to use like this opaque black than a bright one. And then and this, this was uh, a surprise. As I told you before, <laughs> I, I was thinking about handmade uh, illustrations and I started to work on that in my sketchbook because I, I want to try to to do this feeling, doing it in a sketch in, in a sketchbook, in a sketchbook. So I did this one. You can see there, like some bunnies over there. 
Oh, the bunny in the window. <laughs> yeah, and I tried to do it like with a sharpie yeah, to 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 present this um, the texture of the paper, you know, on the sharpie. So I I did it by hand. Then I scanned it and I did it in Photoshop to trying to preserve this hand uh, idea and. Look at this, here is the result and we're gonna work about that. And before everything, I forgot to tell you why bunnies. <laughs> as I tell you, as I tell you, I really enjoy to put these histories behind of the brands. This is my friends of, to, of, to, of today, Kelly, the friends of the brand that's gonna be uh, sharing with Baking Nights. So the first of all, because the client has a bunny for a, oh. for a pet. <laughs> you know uh, the name? Do, uh, do we know the name Hans. of the bunny? Sorry? H Hans. H-A-N-S. Hans. Hans. Yeah. Hans Aww, <laughs> little Hans. <laughs> Actually, it's my bunny because the client is my husband. I haven't, I, I didn't oh, tell you before. Oh, we got a big <laughs> reveal moment <laughs> here. So we have a, a bus, <laughs> husband photographer that has a, that uh, that cooks as well, and we have a bunny, yeah, for sure. And you have a bunny, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, and I thought in this because when he's baking at night, also always the bunny is over there. You know, it's maybe <laughs> in, uh, looking at there, maybe in the kitchen. He's a real it's, friend of the brand. He's a real friend of the brand. This this is real life, guys. You are in a branding that is real life. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. <laughs> Loving this. <laughs> So this this idea of the bunny was I, I where think is the an, bunny? We want to meet Hans. Uh, Hans, Hans, is, Hans is in the garden. I can't come here. So sorry. Tomorrow, actually, we need a poll. Who wants to see Hans I, I will tomorrow? Show you, uh, <laughs> I will show you a photo because it's he has to to be carried. So I can I can pull like this. Gonna <laughs> do it this and no, it's gonna be crazy. So I can show you a photo tomorrow. I will prepare it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. This idea of the bunnies is, as we were talking, improve this this uh, concept of the shadows of the night, the black and white, the positive and negative elements. And for example, here I want to. This is a thing that I, when I was drawing, I remember this uh, drawing of the little prince, you know, like the elephant and the boa, the typical little prince uh, illustration. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was funny to put a bunny inside the dog of the, of the pie. <laughs> so you just see here the silhouette of it and it's over there, you know, like <laughs> just, just playing with forms and imagination. I used to have a, a teacher in college that always told us that for, for him, the most important thing in a design is to uh, make a little smile. It's not to, to do funny things or make laugh people, but when you do something, try to make people like have a little smile, like, oh, that's nice, that's funny, that's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's like the extra, the extra point in a, graphic, in a branding design. So making some jokes sometimes, of course, in the brand that it's allowed. It's, it's, it's interesting. I love to do that. So I try to work with this with these different positions of the bonus and also as i told you try the stroke to be as natural as possible i don't want it to look like really vectorized because in the other case i start to to do vector but i also wanted to use it uh, as a vector not as an image because as can you see is mm -hmm. an image so let's... have you ever used a capture no, With your I, design? no, I, I, I uh, scan it and then edit it in Photoshop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, look, capture is, is super useful. I, I don't know yeah. if you ever, no, if you I ever haven't. wanted to go. There, there is both like a an app on your phone and also there is a service within Photoshop and you uh -huh. can literally go ahead with your phone. And I mean, you can do so many things. You can get colors. You can even really, with I've never heard about it. Yeah, and I, I had a friend of mine that um, usually come around with a lot of vinyls. They have very beautiful uh -huh. typography. So I go with Capture and I actually scan the font and you can either yeah. like transform it in a, in a design or you can actually research the font directly from the app. Really? And it tells you what is the closest um, what is the closest font in a, in a, in the font library. So it's a super amazing app and it will Capture allow you to name? transform. Sorry. Sorry? 
Capture is the name of the, of the Capture. App. Yeah, Amazing. Adobe Adobe Capture. And you can also find it inside uh, inside Photoshop. So love um, it. I didn't care about it. You're like <laughs> so, taking notes. <laughs> yeah, actually, I was taking the notes because I will forget it in five minutes. So I need to. Uh, to I take think it would be super cool because you, you do so many designs and you will see, like, if you ever download it on your phone, it will take, it will yeah. take you a second to, to use this yeah, beautiful. Totally. And you, it gives you like a texture. That's what mm -hmm. I like. You can really control the texture so it, mm -hmm. it doesn't become too, too bold. So. But yeah. Yes, and I'm, I'm gonna check it. Finishing this, of course, can <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a really good resource. So in this image, I'm gonna expand it yeah, to ask, ah, sorry, to use the um, to use the elements as as uh, vectors. So here we are. I think we are losing a little bit of detail, but we can edit it because if we see it in this uh, distance I, I like the that these lines are preserved you know like these handmade strokes and also the the plan that I have for these little bunnies are to you to be used for stamps or maybe for the stickers so when Actually, the, the print with the stamp, it's going to be like a little bit disgusted, you know. Disgusted exists. I don't know. I'm embedding words sometimes. So what? Tell me again. <laughs> Desgastado in Spanish. Desgastado. Uh, like, like, I'm Googling it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't remember okay. it. Yes. If, if, the, if, if you hear that I say my word that doesn't have oh, don't a real worry, meaning, we... please ask, ask me what I was trying to say. <laughs> We, I always make up words, as I told you before, so <laughs> don't worry. Oh, so a little bit of a worn out. So, um, so it's not like basically it's not perfect. Uh -huh. A little, a little shabby. Exactly. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, Kevin. So I just want here to make in the in the. Uh, by the way, Oriol say the perfect word. Thank you so much. Distressed. I think that's the perfect <laughs> word that to use the, for for graphics. Distress, well. amazing. Yeah, thank you. Distress. Learning new words today in English and Spanish, <laughs> international. I thought it'd be like totally. <laughs> so for now, I'm just gonna start working a little bit in these details. As I told you, I don't want, of course, them to be perfect. In other ways, I should do it by vectors or not drawing, but there are some elements that I want to to hide or 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 to highlight. It depends. Just a little cleanup. Mm -hmm, just a little cleanup, exactly. But for example, I love this. It feels like really handy. So let's uh, conserve this. Maybe here the the little toes are weird. So wait, are you using the uh, direct selection tool at the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Fantastic. this moment, I will, I, over here, that is selection tool, just to, to move some vectors and make a better form. Oh, we got like a little bit around. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I just got to be really proud. I, I have a, I just got like a new little cat and, and she has a, I she has see. white paws. So it makes me think of a white pot. You remember? You, you yeah, they're like, what's they're their like, so like that. So I got two cats uh, and my, like, my, my creativity, you can see how big my creativity is. So the older one is called Frida and the other one is called oh, Kahlo. Frida. So we have oh, Frida amazing. and Frida Kahlo. Kahlo. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, great name. <laughs> Frida Kahlo, of course. Yes. So a lot of uh, Mexican name for, for your cats. That was my dream, you know, like to come and see Frida, Frida Kahlo's house has always been my dream. I never- oh, amazing. I studied Frida, I have her posters, I went to exhibition, but I willingly never seen anything or researched about her house because I'm willing really? to experience it. Yeah. The, it, the it was blue house, it's, it's amazing. It's a, the spirit La Casa Azul, no? La Casa Azul, exactly, in Coyoacán is the the neighborhood where where the house is. So I it's guess really, you've been there? Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, like 
like been in Mexico, no go there as a designer. You have to. If you visit <laughs> us, you have to visit Villa Calo House. Yeah, it's, it's really, really, really beautiful. It seems like they moved yesterday, really. They have like all the paints over there and the brushes and the objects on the kitchen and are still there. And also when Frida and Diego live lived in in that house mm -hmm. the time of art in mexico was i think and i'm i'm a little bit um uh, at, how do you say atrevido like i'm a little atrevido. I, no like i don't know i got my i got my dictionary out here no. <laughs> I don't want to say is it was the best time of, of art in Mexico, but maybe it is because it was with all the... Oh, brave, realist, daring. Brave, ah, exactly, daring. Intrepido. Intrepido. <laughs> yes, so they were really brave. Yeah, because there's a lot of politics and... Yeah, and all the, all, all the muralists and it has a, was the, the best moment for art in, in Mexico. And there were there are a lot of rumors that all the huge and amazing parties in that moment were in the in the blue house of Frida and Diego Rivera. Uh, <laughs> so it is a very important place for a spotlight, the the art and the the time where where that because they were I think were they, they had a lot of uh, philosophers and Friends, people yeah. that were they yeah were... actually the. They, for example, there's another one that called Siqueiros or Leonora Carrington or uh, Remedios Varo. Highlight uh, really, really interesting uh, painters that actually were contemporaries and they were in the same moment of the history and they were friends and they drink mezcal in the blue house. <laughs> it's really, really interesting story. I, I enjoy it. And I think she was also, they were also protecting um, German and other philosopher that they were like escaping for the war. Ah, of course, Trotsky. Trotsky. Yeah, yeah. and the, the house of Trotsky that is just in the front of the Frida's house, actually. Well, it's in the block. Oh, the I didn't one. know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, he moved over there. It's also really, really beautiful and really interesting. He, it, oh, uh, he has uh, bunnies. <laughs> yeah, and, and in the museum they want to preserve this, that. Uh, so Frida, uh, Frida had bunnies. I didn't know no, that. No, no, was, was oh, Trotsky. Trotsky. Trotsky, yeah. Trotsky. So oh, okay. his house, there are still a lot of bunnies in the garden. Aww. If you go to the museum, because he loved them a lot, so they want to conserve the bunnies into the museum just because he loved them. So it, it's that 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 time of the history for me it's amazing in Mexico because they were moving you know like from that house to the from the Leonora Carrington house and then they have a party with Diego Rivera and Frida crazy <laughs> <laughs> crazy yeah a lot, of, a lot of tequila a lot of mezcal a lot, a lot of, of tequila uh, yeah exactly party. a lot of art <laughs> a lot of yeah, art I, yeah a lot of art yeah you, you should you should go if you visit mexico you should visit both both houses are really interesting from his for history and also for of course for art yeah and and let us know in the chat like what because uh, i was talking about my my love for frida and i can see that um uh, definitely carla as as a lot of, as well love for the the period and for that art but let us know in the chat what is your favorite artist if there is any specific specific artist that uh, inspire you and it doesn't have to be fine art or painter it can be you know we were talking yeah. before i, I saw uh, voodoo val say cladis to frida Kahlo as valis to star wars because i know that uh, val is a lot of dogs i don't know <laughs> exactly how many dogs she has but they're named after star wars because she's, really? <laughs> she's a fan so she's inspired by star wars and uh, do you have any specific artist or movie or a movement yes, that inspired sure. you? Mm -hmm. uh, you're asking me or you're... Yes, you're yeah. Talking? I was like, oh, oh do I know sorry. that name? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I thought you were telling to the, this uh, audience to... Oh, I, was, to I, was, I was saying both. Of course, well, to share, okay. share in the chat, but of course, we want to know from you as well. Well, uh, you're about design and art, I'm... It's gonna sound like a cliche, but I don't care. I love Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. Van Gogh is like really, really important in my life since I was a kid. So I love it. I love the 
all the impressionism actually, but Bagnoli is my high top. Uh, maybe contemporary should be David Hockney. Do you know him? He's a painter that it's also like a really, their, their paints are really impressionist, but they're not impressionist because they're done in this period. But mm, I don't know, I, I love the colors. He used like a lot of purple and, and, and green and blue. And it's really contrasting. And also he draw a lot in by the iPad. So I love the result. He's really good. I, I have- uh, Can you say the name again? Sorry, because I didn't- David Hockney. I, I will put it over here. With chinchilla type, you will see it. <laughs> in the chinchilla type. Hockney. Yeah, I'm- I, Okay. I, yeah, I think it's quite like that. If it is not, I'm so sorry, but it's something like that. Yeah, yeah I think you spell it right. Did you have it? Oh yeah, wonderful. So it's like a almost like a collage, it looks like. No, it's like the heart. A, I don't know. Let me see. Let me Google it and show to everyone. I'm not sure if I'm on the right one then. Uh, Maybe I'm looking something that is inspired by by the work. Because it's very bold color. How can you? Mm, this one, the same. Yeah. yeah, 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 a lot of color, exactly. Look, this purple and blues. Oh, yeah. Um, or this one. It does mm. give you like of a, the, 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 the yellow and the blues, like a Van Gogh color palette uh -huh, as well. Exactly, yeah, I, I feel like they're quite like in the same move. Look, they're so saturated. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I love that he's, he's, he, he is an old man, an amazing old man that actually draw a lot in iPad. So for me, it's fantastic. That's so cool. Yeah, that is like, he uh, go forward and said like, I need to learn more, more things. I'm gonna start drawing in iPad. Look at this, it's an iPad illustration. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good. You That's can... so interesting. I'm definitely gonna, I'm, I'm taking notes now and read. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I think I, I of course. Do you know where is it from? Because uh, I can see a lot of so Yosemite. Sorry. Okay, don't Let's worry, don't see. worry. I, I'm here to Google things. Don't worry. Yeah, I think maybe here is his biography. Uh, no, it doesn't say. Well, right, we we can check it. Oh, it's British. It's British. Yeah, it's British. So it's from Bradford. Went to Bradford School of Art and the Royal College of Art. Fantastic. See, I'm here and I don't know anything about this. <laughs> you have to visit here. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We're going to go. Uh, we, it will be so nice, you know, like to, to have um, maybe a documentary yes. or something, you know, because I, I really love this. I'm very intrigued by uh, people of different, because I think everybody uses iPad at our age. We're very mm -hmm. um, used to technology. But I think that someone that is not used to technology and really yeah, has totally. to make an effort, I think he, they have a different approach. So I think it'll yes. be very interesting. And he did it amazing. It's like, yeah, like, that, that it is, it, it, if you look that, you can say like an experimented painter in, in digital art did it. No, <laughs> it was David Hogney in his iPad drawing. Super cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. Yeah, and well, of course, for of designers, I have a lot of inspiration and friends that I really value. And but uh, there are a lot. I don't. I don't. I can't think just in one. But maybe um, the 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 friend that the girl that we are going to talk to uh, tomorrow from the artist uh, spotlight. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she's really good, and it's a friend of mine. Let's not do any it. reveal. Let's not do oh, any okay. reveal. Okay, so sorry. So sorry, so sorry. <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, and actually, thank you so much for reminding us, because that's uh, probably like a wonderful reminder to tell everybody that mm -hmm. tomorrow, of course, we're going to be together again with Carla. I'm having a fantastic time, by the way, Carla. Uh, and uh, I look forward to tomorrow as well. But tomorrow we will also have, towards the end of the stream, the artist spotlight. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit more tomorrow, but we love to feature your work and to just give a big shout out to all the amazing artists that yes, um, share their it. work on, on Behance. So looking forward to it. Do it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of them. She will we'll talk about she about her just the, tomorrow, but maybe um, another girl that is also Mexican and I work with with her. Her name is Mariela Mesquita. It's really good. I love her work. Or Vicky Gonzalez. Her username is for Bark Bark Room is with double B instead of mm -hmm. W. She's also really good, or Ingrid Picanel. A lot of girls, I think so. It, I don't know, but I, a lot of, uh, I have a lot of inspiration about women design. So sometimes I share their works in my Instagram. If you want to follow me, I will share the, the, the work of nice people that I found. I usually are sharing and sharing histories about uh, projects or, or inspiring uh, persons that i found how do you look how do you think it looks i don't know about this but... i love the window one. Oh, the, yeah, the top like... maybe uh, i love the, small... the journal of the wind i don't know about the top uh, the... i mean that's up to you i, maybe I think it can be because... destructive distract Here... distracting yeah exactly I, I <laughs> my english is gone <laughs> <laughs> that happened when you start speaking in spanish with me see <laughs> see here we go <laughs> <laughs> okay let's I tune mean, back in into english, in the here. The english i think uh here's better because uh well actually it's gonna be really small so no i'm still looking at it I don't... shape and then if you go Please. under the paintbrush next to the Please rectangle there, should be no sorry I, um no. sorry sorry be below below the rectangle oh. too I, oh, I can open. Yeah, it's a yay, video. fantastic. And it's Smooth called tool, right? Yeah, and then you just like almost oh. paint on it with the with the object selected. It just kind of makes everything disappear. Okay. So I, I'm I'm just Need a fan. I'm tools. so sorry. I'm obsessed with the <laughs> with this. Oh yeah, I see it. Just almost like paint on it, like uh -huh. as if you're brushing on it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It just cleans up all the yeah, all the totally. extra vector points and anchor points that are there. Yeah, I like it. I think it's it look it look nice because here we have also this like end over here, but it's the same as we we're talking before, this uh handmade uh style. So for example, this I love this part. It looks like the brush was all just passed over here and not fill totally the window. So I love sorry, this. sorry to be a complete geek, but I think that that's a lot about like Van Gogh as well in terms of the movement. Because I feel <laughs> like, because when I saw a first Van Gogh from real, I think you the beauty of the brush is just that you feel yeah. like the movement that the paint, painter did. It's almost like a, a memory of totally. their time painting. And uh -huh. I, I agree with what you say with the, with the illustration bit there, like the mm. imperfection just almost tells a story about how you drew it. Mm -hmm. You know, that was your hand moving towards it. Exactly, Godly. You, you said what I was trying to say. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's amazing. Remember Van Gogh for sure. Okay, this is going to be, I don't know, but I really, really love the simplicity of this silhouette. So I think I'm going to use it a lot. So maybe it's time to, to focus more on it because the other ones are because the intention is that it has to be handcraft. There is not uh, too much importance to define the line uh, perfectly. But for example, here, let's try the smooth, you said, Kelly, to disappear this hole over here. Amazing. Yeah. Remember, smooth tool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy. Because I didn't want to do it by really detail it because the, the this uh, feeling of the stroke, but this also do it as I want to do it. Like it's really soft, as you said. It's not like a real change in the vector. It's just 
smoothing as the name yeah the line and it's amazing yeah it basically just takes away any anchor point that is like off the, di the direction yeah uh -huh. so that will just flatten it out and just keep the same direction of the okay. anchor points there yeah with another with an ultra zoom you can see <laughs> yeah, and yeah. we have another question so yes. magda is asking uh do you charge more for a branding project that has illustration on it no because as I told you, the, the the idea before about how much do you work on one, on one or how much do you work in the other. I don't know, there are some times that I work a lot in the illustration of one, a lot of time, a lot of time in the patterns. And sometimes I do a uh, design that is really simple and I didn't de did a pattern selection or a friends, a fr a friends over there. And I love and I love it more, you know, like I don't think that it depends about the the production of items that you, you do in your branding. It depends about the result. So sometimes I, I actually don't put in when I don't talk with my clients the difference between a brand with a pattern or a brand with an illustration or some graphic elements or a brand without it. I just I don't know sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work so it depends so i i, I don't i don't think it it should be a difference but of course if i do like an illustration for a for a branding project and then the the client love it and want uh, a lot of illustrations about it of course the, there is a different charge and we talk about uh, these extra elements that they that he or she is asking for but just for an essential branding and for for the patterns no i i, I don't think i don't think it, it is necessary but as i said before is my form of work you can do whatever you want <laughs> and I also think that like people come to you because they know like you know that you're gonna have the friends of the brands and like people come yeah. to you for for this kind of elements of work so uh, when yeah. you build your portfolio, when you build your, I will say, reputation or in general, just even visual identity of what sort of work you produce, I think that that's what people expect. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think that, that that's a very important advice for everybody and mostly for the, uh, the young designers is to try to put a lot of of projects, a lot of things in your website, in your Behance, in your, on your Instagram, everywhere. Because as Scully said, uh, the the clients are going to approach you because what they see, if they like and they are interested in something with friends like this, <laughs> they will call Carla, of course, you're right? <laughs> no, of but course. If, uh, yeah, the, but sometimes if they need like, I don't know, like more corporative identity, Maybe they will turn and, and select another designer that that it's 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 better doing that kind of design. So it's it's good for you. Um, in the future is better because mostly all the clients that you got are like in the same line that you are in the same visual idea that you are. And the, so the the approach and the interaction is easier because they already like what you do. So it, it's good to to promote yourself and show your style and what do you do. Remember, no one is going to do it if you don't do it by yourself. Encourage yourself. You're good. Yes, and that's, I think, like, you, you again, you, you really say something very important. Do not put work that doesn't represent you. You don't want to do because mm -hmm. most likely people are going to call you to do that and you don't want to hate your life. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, that's good. a good, really good advice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put work that you like and get paid to do stuff that you like mm -hmm. that's that's the dream yeah and feel up feel proud of it don't be ashamed if someone don't like it who cares other ones gonna do so it's amazing your... i love it <laughs> it's people for every for every project for every style for different uh, ideas so if you like it show it and I think that that's, you know, that's such a good, good message, Carla, just be yourself. There is a, there are clients for everybody. I think mm -hmm. that we are sometimes, especially, and I mean, I completely understand, especially when you start, we can be our worst critics and our mm -hmm. worst enemy. 
but there is nothing bad at something that you just don't do it you know so there is nothing yeah. worse than not doing it not put your work out there so i i love what you know the energy behind what you were saying as well just be yourself yeah. and the people that like what you do will come to you yeah totally totally and pay you <laughs> to do it <laughs> <laughs> yes for sure and be 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 proud of you i think sometimes we are really exposed for for abuse or for how's how, what people's gonna say or as I, as we were talking before if they're gonna like it well, of course a lot of people will not gonna like it but of course a lot of a lot of people it's gonna love it and uh, you don't know we don't know if you don't try that's the only rule. <laughs> Super true. So once you're done with those, are, are we going to do like a last poll of the day with uh, with illustrations yes. as well? What do you think? Yeah, I, I was planning to finish illustrations for today and leave yeah. for tomorrow the uh, these branding applications. And we're going to start to do like the editorial design. Well, I call it the editorial. This actually is not too much editorial because it's just a label, you know, like put the basic information, Instagram information, the contact and some uh, copy that I was thinking if I should do it in Spanish or in English. So you can help me with that. What should you prefer? And if you have uh, some ideas, for example, I was thinking from home to home, like a copy for baking nights. I don't know. I, I just think about that. But if you have some ideas, will be amazing because we will start to to do editorial design and so you have today to think it and help us to do yes, it yes let us know first <laughs> let us know if you want to if you want to discover how, how how carla does it in spanish uh, or or uh -huh. if you if you want to push and do in english as well or we can do it both or we can do both oh wow <laughs> translation as well <laughs> English, uh, and Spanish, and in Behance, and at Adobe Life. You, you'll learn a lot of things here. Guys. Yeah. Si quiero, podemos hacer italiano también. Italiano también. And let us know in the chat. That's something that I think we were talking about so many different things. Of course, we have about um, 20 minutes here with Carla. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then there is uh, more Adobe Live. Of course, we just uh, uh, started here after Julia Masalska with the Illustrator Daily Creative Challenge. And I just mm -hmm. want to remind everybody, if you haven't tried the Illustrator Creative Challenge, make sure to join Julia. Uh, she's uh, live every day tomorrow. She's going to be live before us as well. The Illustrator Creative Challenge are challenges are mm -hmm. an amazing way to learn your uh, learn more skills and sharpen also new techniques in adobe illustrator and if you haven't started they're also a fantastic way to get started with illustrator and to start to get comfortable with these old anchor points and shapes and types and colors so make sure to to stick on adobe live throughout the week because julia is uh, is doing very very cool projects on uh, on the illustrator creative challenges and there is so much more when you join the challenges then you have the community on discord mm. you can share your work get feedback so make sure to go and check it out there they're always very very fun and also i want to remind that everybody that we have like you know this last 20 minutes with carla for today so make sure to place any question you want in the chat and remember if you put your questions on youtube i will not be able to read them so head on be hands dot net slash live and uh, place your questions don't be shy we're here to learn as i say all the time i'm gonna say today as well adobe live is a safe space to learn together i absolutely love to see everybody different approach and everybody questions so make sure to take advantage of of this time together dalena is asking can we get the link to the discord uh, dalena uh, uh, val has already shared the um behind the the net slash challenges slash illustrator which is the uh the landing page oh my gosh my english is really gone out the window it's, it's all my fault so sorry <laughs> i'm gonna read it with the spanish accent um in the landing page you can find the community link but i'm sure that there we go i haven't even needed to say it that the amazing val has already placed the link in the chat so Great. you can click you. and access it thank you val val is amazing as everybody else here like we have also so many helpful and wonderful sweet moderator and helper and of course we have paco behind the scene making all this uh magic happen during the stream so thank you paco dream dream team oh 
I love them all now. Say, I, <laughs> I actually feel like this is a little bit Japanese, I don't know, but it's really good because uh, <laughs> the, the idea was like, the, what, the, that was one of the words that I, that I received when Felipe told me the, the brief, but like a little bit uh, Japanese I, because he loves love Japanese things. So I, I think that maybe looks. So now we know why you knew so much about the client. <laughs> oh, that's a vintage. Yeah. I'm, I really, I'm really happy to have that information. Imagine now. Nah, <laughs> and I, I think, for example, that is another really uh, uh, topic to talk about. It's really important to have all the information that you need before you start designing and uh, sometimes when when it's a, a big brand they actually know how the budget how it's going to print who is going to print where is going to print and what you know everything and they have all the the information in an excel perfect done you know <laughs> now but sometimes when you work with uh, with a small uh, business or startups, they really don't have idea about this. So it's also a good idea to ask, ask them, for example, the budget, how, many, how much do you want to spend in the printers? No, I don't want to spend nothing. Okay, then you have these this, uh, limitations, right? Or I want to, I, I will gonna uh, deliver this in this kind of packaging. So you ask, exactly from the packaging and then you you can work with that package and and can adapt it to the brand but it's really important to know everything because sometimes i don't know the the other day i was designing a coffee brand and i did all the branding design for the back you know like printed totally and after send the the presentation the client told me that they they can't print that they need another option to solve it. And actually, I, I, I thought, why I didn't ask the hair before? <laughs> it was my fault, of course, because I should ask, where are you going to use it? How are you going to print it? Where where are you going to sell it? And I totally forgot about that. And I work days on something that can, can't be used, yet, you know? Like, it's really important to 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 know a lot about the, the the brand and and also about how it's gonna be used the final use yeah. the final purpose and the final use of the design yeah in other ways you're gonna work a lot as me the other night so it's do you choice. ever do <laughs> do you ever do like any questionnaire or any uh, yes. anything like that yes i have one it's really basic because when i start working with a client i have a call with them and then that call is just talking you know like tell me mm -hmm. everything about your brand well, what do you like, what do you don't like, not very specific about the product itself or the, of, or of the service. After that, I send them a, a questionnaire that it's more focused on, on this part. It's about like uh, the edad, the, the edad. I'm taking Spanish now, right now. Like, <laughs> the, ready to the, translate. <laughs> ready to translate. The age of the, of the consumers, you know, like, um, where it's going to be developed on the internet or in, in establishment, something like that. Um, the, sometimes I ask, this, these uh, questions are like a little bit tricky because I ask if they hate a color, because sometimes it happens, you know, some, someone could tell me like, I really, really, really hate red. And I didn't ask that. And I, then I present a brand full of red. I say automatically, no, even they love it. But if, it's, if, if, if they have an issue with a color, you have to, to respect it because it's really important. And I, I, I always ask that question because honestly, I have a lot of, I have been with a lot of people that tell me like, do whatever do you do, but please never yellow. And it's like, okay, I respect that. <laughs> Go ahead. So it's, that, that kind of questions that I, I include in the questionnaire, that it's more like technical questions before I start doing the mood word selection that I showed you at the beginning. And then yeah. I start with the design, with this, after the feedback of the mood word, it's really important. I usually uh, ask them to tell me which ones are their favorites and which ones are they, the, the, the ones that they hate 
for if they can send me like I love this this reference, I love this type, but I hate this one. So it's a it's a good idea to have like this uh, balance in, in in the middle of what they love and what they hate and what how how you can approach better to these uh, two different points of views. For example, if they give you like they they say that they hate the sans serif typography, you know it already. So let's work with. I think it's idea. very very important to know what they don't like. Is probably sometimes mm -hmm. more important yes, totally. to know what they like. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to just take a, a very quick second to share and probably you're going to have the link in the chat as well that I do create like a full branding package for with starting with got the questionnaire, which I, I call it uh, Carla um, brand platform, which is like, a you know, all these different things that we're talking about. So mm -hmm. I actually created because a package because I have done few Adobe lives and I always create uh, stuff for free for people to like templates. Mm -hmm. So um, the link is iamclady.com slash branding bundle and uh, you can find it. It's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's see. But no, I completely agree with you. I, I think we are definitely on the same page in terms of how to manage manage clients and how to, to work. And you were also saying like, you know, how to to save save time when working as well mm -hmm. and now in a little bit um so, sorry for interrupting you no no, no it was just that that's that's true yeah no 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 no, no more else. <laughs> Um, I think like maybe we can do uh, one last poll with this uh, with the illustration so we know which one is uh, everybody's favorite. Yes. And then we can Great do idea. like a, like maybe in 10 minutes we can do a little bit of a recap about what we've done yeah. so far, everything that we talked about. So and to look can, everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but for now, maybe I don't know, we can choose some options and then we can see which which one people, which friends, which friends are gonna <laughs> take with us in the journey. <laughs> Yeah. How many friends do you put usually? Do you have just one? I don't or know. Many? No, many. Yeah, I just <laughs> uh, many do friends. a lot of. Yeah, and then when I feel like yeah, that's enough, yeah, it's enough. <laughs> I need, I need a one that maybe is jumping, and I do it. You know, like just, just imagine the scenario. I love to create stories behind my brand. Sometimes it's like it's not really evident, you know, but it's fun. It's interesting. It's give all another. Oh, you build a community. Like you build a, a total total brand community already. We have brand ambassador, we have everything. <laughs> yes, exactly. They they work for breaking nets. <laughs> they work. <laughs> so they are the one. So it's like yeah. a, a <laughs> actually that's the real the secret. <laughs> the client is the hands. It's hands hands. is the client. <laughs> it's like, but I didn't tell you, sir. That <laughs> no, the the, these, uh, these are the final ones. I don't know. What do you think? Because as you can see here, negative and positive reinforces the, the, uh, the main concept that we were talking. Here is the, the bunny inside the shadow, actually, well, in the dark, and this, it's outside, right? Same <laughs> as here from the windows. And here, he's here and back here. And if you don't mind zooming in a little so we can properly see the number and everybody knows. Ah, which yeah, yeah, one yeah. Is which so sorry. I just want to put. It. Because this one is one, okay? Like positive, yeah. negative, yeah, this one. This, but I have to switch them. Take your time. And grab. And grab. Let's see. Put Aww. the couples. <laughs> <laughs> so does Hans as a, a, he has a girlfriend or is a, a single, single bunny? Hans actually is a, a girl. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, we didn't know it. <laughs> then he went to the to the doctor, the bunny doctor. <laughs> um, they say like, yeah, you know, it's a girl, right? And it's Hans. <laughs> so sorry. So Hans is a girl with a name of a man, uh, of a boy. So it's okay. A I mean, he can have girlfriends, boyfriends. We're, we're all. Yeah. No, no, as no. As long yeah. as I is it is a happy, happy bunny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, we didn't want to have another bunny because you know, like they have a lot of, of they have a lot bunnies. of fun. <laughs> yeah, no, a lot of baby bunnies and a lot of fun. Yeah, no, no, it, it's a huge responsibility. So we just have one. And actually, oh. it's a really nice pet. You should try it sometime. 
we need to we need to see a photo tomorrow i'm very yes. curious now do you have any photo on your instagram of uh, of hands no because i and this instagram i use use my uh, branding design because sometimes mm-hmm. i i thought that maybe people don't want to be don't want to see me <laughs> cooking or without uh, or out in my house or something like that so i just put like all the the projects i do in that in that one but so I, now I have a question. Is is answer real bunny? Does it exist? <laughs> <laughs> I wish let, let me show you. I have one in my iPad. The imaginary bunny. <laughs> An imaginary bunny. Look at this. It's a crazy branding with an imaginary bunny. <laughs> I'm having a blast. It's saying hi. In my see, iPad. Oh baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's over there he's a big like, bunny no it looks big here but he is like t- taking a selfie <laughs> <laughs> that's so it's funny. a small one it's like i don't know maybe this size oh baby how old is he is she sorry <laughs> uh, don't worry i do the same all the time and it's my bunny <laughs> yeah he's he she's three no two 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 <laughs> in, he is gonna be three in June. Yes. So. Let's oh, I see. cannot stop laughing. I can feel my my cheeks like. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm thirsty actually because I've been laughing. Yeah. So mm. while while you while you take a breather, we have the different options here coming up. So you can see that three, we have. A, let's four, see how many in total. Five options in total. Yeah, actually, um, I think this is a must. This one is a must because I love these kitchen elements. They're really essential. This <laughs> is a must. This is, yes. So yeah. this one, this other, the, okay. yeah, are five. The, yeah, we so, can just... so we have the main one. We just need to uh-huh. build uh, the other friends. So those are, yeah. those are it. If you can scroll down a little so we can see them all, we have now option one, two, okay. three, four, and five. So yes. the amazing Buddha Bao, I know we got just a few minutes um uh, it's going to create a new poll and in the meantime while well, everybody can look at the lovely um picture of hands the bunny <laughs> uh, illustrated by carla maybe we can do like a little recap of everything that we've yep, done sure. what we're doing with the brand and all the wonderful things that you talked about today yeah for well for this moment we have actually mostly all of the essential branding if you you see because it's a little bit messy, but I, we have typography and like a little uh, editorial design, you know. And we also have the color selection and also the, the little friends, the bunny hands little friends. I actually was thinking about doing something a little bit more geometric for the, for the applications. I don't know the name of this thing, the I, when you put something inside uh uh over the the let me find the word because or you're not gonna know it Kelly I'm sure uh, rejillas sorry maquillas re, re, rejillas rejillas no no, <laughs> no idea what, 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 what do you do? do you do you put it in a shape do you uh is the the part of the the I just give me oh, on seconds. the knees no 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 for the oh. off where where the um, I know great, great. great thank you so much thank yeah. you Paco we got thank Paco. you Paco <laughs> exactly <laughs> the grid yeah <laughs> thank you Paco the grid of the off translator the, in the here fantastic yeah amazing. oh that's when that's when you dry the the when when you let the the food uh, uh yeah exactly exactly and also (laughs) it seems for me like to be the the part that is over on the on the pie you know like this oh yeah um lines we can do something like that just to to combine it and make a balance between this organic selection and something really geometric i i don't know i really i really love geometric things i love the dots I use dot everywhere. Uh, sometimes I, I start thinking that I should stop do, using dot in my branding designs because I, I love them. Uh, and also squares. Uh, I think they're really ba- basics, but amazing. So it's also in the meantime, I'm I'm, I'm looking at the at the little 
uh, poll here. So we literally have a couple minutes left. So if you haven't voted, go to the chat on Behance the Message <laughs> Live and choose your bunny. <laughs> it's the favorite. Yeah, we're going to use all the bunnies for the rest of the applications, but we have we need to have a leader, of course. So you're going to choose the leader of the, the leader of friends. <laughs> oh, so we have two, actually, that they're like a runner up. They're yeah. actually at the same vote. But mm -hmm. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it like one more minute. I think mm -hmm. we can afford one more minute while you keep the net. Mm -hmm. And this is a branding um, that is uh, for a, a ghost bakery, correct? That's, yeah. that's how you define it. Mm -hmm. um, Look, so how do you, I think it works? It looks nice, this combination. Oh, of course, this is really rude. It's just an approach. I like the con the contrast here from here. Maybe do it some exercises. You can uh, put two in the strong and it looks different. Or we can make like a little bit of curves. You know, like they're actually in the in the pie. They are like all the time, like really organic and move. Maybe we can start. Okay, let me look. This is first time doing this, and I think we have enough time to finish it. Or what do you think, Fabi? We have a couple minutes. So, and don't worry, we got also tomorrow. tomorrow so you can yeah. take your time. You can have a little bit more like. of a play with it uh, if you want to. And then we can, we can leave it to tomorrow. We can, even if you don't finish today, you know, we can, yeah. we can start from whatever you left. Uh, and I think that's, that's the beauty of having more than two days. Okay, I'm gonna refresh for the last time. So hope everyone got their votes in for the bunnies. <laughs> I like every time that I refresh, the the the, the results changes. So let me wow. one more time. Ooh, everybody's voting. Okay, so <laughs> at the beginning we had oh we had another another. Okay, um, let's go there double result so first mm, it was number okay. two and number four they were winning together then number mm, one four. was winning and now we have number one and number two both at 25 percent yeah. so really so and also we have four and five that are also uh at the same <laughs> so three is the one who has less votes at the moment really i love this one <laughs> <laughs> okay it's gonna Sorry. be at the end of the line <laughs> <laughs> I can do I can refresh one more time if you want. I don't think it's good. No. Oh, we have an established winner. So number yeah. one is the winner. And then we now. have number two and number five. Okay. Then four and then three. Okay. So that's that's the result of the poll. Ha, this is how we're gonna use them. Where the presence uh, the presence is gonna be more constant with these elements, but we have these options for just for making fun and do extra applications with them. Thank you so much for your vote. Did you like it? <laughs> we absolutely love it. And um, I mean, I, I think we have a, probably like another minute before we have to say goodbye. Great. So. Well, I, what I'm doing here is to uh, add some points to after that make uh, some curves with the, the anchor bar mm, to make like a little bit of movement. Of course, we're gonna do it uh, per perfectly later. This is just an overview just to see how it's gonna look. If I put some lines uh, with <laughs> curves, just to make it more natural. And in the meantime, yeah. Catherine Kearns, I'm going to reply to the last question, was asking uh, uh, regarding how to manipulate a font or a logo and how, you know, the, the help that she can find. Catherine, I want to take this occasion to say to stay tuned because tomorrow there are many more streams coming along and regarding in particular creating lettering and manipulating letter, Letting. there is a wonderful, right. wonderful stream with Belinda Co. Uh, at Creative and Core, so that will be tomorrow. And of course, uh, we have more. We have Bianca Bears with a, a illustration, and of course, there is um, the amazing Paul Trani with musical brushes in the Photoshop mm. Daily Creative Challenge. 
and um, if you wanna if you wanna learn how to transform your photography into a fan fantasy compositing, you can do so with Victoria Pavlov during a, a composition stream. So make sure to stay tuned for tomorrow. Yes. I think it's almost time to say goodbye okay for today no. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we're gonna keep going tomorrow so again yeah. make sure to stay tuned for more adobe live and tomorrow all this wonderful stream and of course we're gonna be back with the wonderful carla carla i had a blast thank you so much uh thank that was so very much. very fun and thank you so much for joining us and of course we're gonna see you tomorrow here at adobe live thank, thank you everybody thank Bye. you bye, -bye.